Yeah. I mean, this is a broadcast antenna as well. Yes, I mean, this is a great day for all of us here today. Great day. I mean, the guys couldn't be any more pride, couldn't be more excited about what's going on. All the years of planning there coming right now. Uh, these guys are doing a heck of a job. Couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah, when, when those buildings went down back on uh, September 11th in 2001, Savannah, remember, the antennas on the top are the antenna on the top that service so many broadcast outlets and facilities here in this area went down as well. So, so this is a chance to get back in business when it comes to broadcasting from lower Manhattan. So it's not only architectural, it's extremely functional as well. Again, this doesn't go up and doesn't become operational this morning. There's still a lot of work to be done on this building. They still have to frame out the top section. They'll hand over the keys to some of the tenants in 2014. So there's a ways to go. But in terms of the height of the building, the superstructure of the building, this is the stunning achievement today, Savannah. So many Americans, when they come to New York City, make this a stop that they have to make because, as we mentioned, this is hallowed ground. And, and just for those who aren't as aware of the geography of this area, Matt, where this new One World Trade Center sits, it is not the exact place where the no. original towers were. It's, it's just slightly north of there, right? It's just a little bit north. I mean, if anybody had the opportunity, and, I, and if you haven't, I recommend it to come down and see the memorial that was built here and opened a couple of years ago. That's basically, those are the footprints, those pools of the footprints of what was the World Trade Center. This is just to the north. It's called One World Trade Center. For a while they called it Freedom Tower. They changed it to One World Trade Center. But it's all part of the complex that was the World Trade Center. A museum is being constructed. That should open in the near future. And as I said, this will be, I read somewhere this could end up being the tallest only office structure in the world. Again, the third tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, Second will be the Willis Tower in Chicago. Third will be the Trump International Hotel, also in Chicago. But New York gets to brag again. The tallest building in the Western Hemisphere is located right here in Lower Manhattan. And Matt, um, this is Natalie here. A lot of people here in studio just riveted watching this. And, and we all have goosebumps, I have to tell you, just seeing this as it is happening. A very emotional experience for a lot of people who, of course, uh, remember so clearly what happened on that day on September 11th, 2001. I mean, you remember covering it. How does this right. uh, hit you, seeing this happen? And not only covering, but, you know, I, I was born in New York. And, and so, um, you know, there's a certain sense of personal pride that goes along with it. I think it's going to be incredibly emotional. I'm listening. Kevin's got his walkie-talkie here, and I just heard over it. They're saying, coming down, coming down, coming down. down meaning this thing is lowering into place. Down, and apparently it's in right it. now. Come down there, Shannon, USA. They're clapping. This is now in place. 1776. This building has risen to new heights. The rebirth and the rebuilding of Lower Manhattan and such a wonderful moment and we can't thank the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey enough for letting us witness it and be a part of it live. How can you not have oh, oh a lump gosh. in your throat, a tear in your <laughs> eye, and crying. a smile Crying. on your face <laughs> after everything that has happened? on that ground to see this tower soar once again and along with it our hearts Matt. Uh, really amazing and um, so many people have, have poured their efforts into this, poured their planning into it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to see this moment happen. And, and let's just remember the people who lost their lives on that day and the first responders and all the other heroes. We will do that for sure, remembering them, remembering why this is such a meaningful moment for this country, why this is hallowed ground. This is a moment of pride and hope and renewal, and we will keep our eye on this beautiful picture in Lower Manhattan. Take a quick break, and we'll be back with much more of today.